Hello there folks, it's lesson 72. And this time I thought I'd take you to North Yorkshire. We went from Bamber, yes, Bamber on the last one, we are travelling down the country for about 60 miles, and we come to the Yorkshire Dales. And uh, th th this is a, just a typical Yorkshire Dales picture, with a sort of a, the, 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 these are like uh, built for, I don't know, sheltering in or what, but there, there's never any doors on or anything like that, but, uh, and there's a couple there, it's put it sh sheltering off for the sheep, shelter against the wind and, wind and all that, but anyway, that, that, that's, that, by the way, it's the buildings. And uh, there's some hills in the background, uh, some fields here, a bit of a path here, and we'll take it from there. Our usual colours are raw sienna, ultramarine, ultramarine burnt umber, and and then we'll, we'll take it from there. So we'll just move this off here now. And then we know where we're going. And here's our picture. First thing we'll do is get some get the sky out of the way, and we'll put just a touch of touch of water in there. Not a lot. And this is not a sky picture, this is a, it's a, it's a land picture, if you like. I'll put some sunshine in. There's a blue sky in there. Over the hills there. Wash my brush out. I don't like that there. That's just a dodgy bit there. Put that out. It's blue up and blue. Some of that well of water out there. I say it's not much sky, is it? Just just a peppering of it. And the light today is have to come from. Let's see. I've said from from, from the left here. So, I'll put a bit of cloud in that sky because it's too pretty. Hopefully, we'll uh, it'll be. Some of this, this heavy weather and that will 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 disappear as the as the day goes on. That's just sort of a nice bit of light in that that corner up there. Let's see the sunshine up there, shall we? Not too strong. I'm hoping the weather's going to change, and the the shadowy area of this is is if the light's from the left, of course, the shadows on these clouds and that is going to be on this side, isn't it? I don't want to mess about in the sky. It's just a this is a, a backdrop. It's not uh, it's not a part of the painting really. Well, it is, but uh, it's not not important. Well, all skies are important. I'm talking myself about different things here, but the skies are important. Because usually it's, it's usually two thirds of your paint, but this time it's, it's only about a third, isn't it? We'll see how we go from there. I might put a bit of stuff up this corner here because it looks a bit bland. That'll do, that's better. Right, stop fiddling. 
Well, the sky's about dry now, so what I want to do is introduce uh, uh, the line of hills here. There's, there's, there's number one, number two, number three, number four, and then number five. So in the distance, we want to sort of, uh, well, we don't want much, much colour at all. It, 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 it gives it depth then. So let's see what we've got for that. That's this one here. It's not dark enough. I saw a distant hill there. A bit more colour if I can get it. That's better. Number one. So number two will be coming towards the green as it comes further towards this side. This is still in the distance, so I've got to be careful with that. So I don't want the, this green to run into that. At this time, I've got to start introducing a touch of green into this. So I've, got, so I've still got some uh, the burnt umber and the ultramarine blue there. So I'll, I'll paint a touch of that, and then add to it. The other colour we've got, which is the, the raw sienna, isn't it? So somehow that should give us a bit of green, I think, with a bit of look. A bit of distant green, hopefully. Nothing in your face, this this is this is background stuff. So this hill will be down here. I'm going to put that uh, bluish stuff, this here, in the base of this, it'll, it'll link it slightly with it. So we're getting a tinge of green now, coming across as it become warm up this, this hillside. Right, this is our next one. This is, you can see the green is stronger now. Mind the second shed. This brush I'm using, by the way, is, is a number ten. So it's not uh, it's not a beast. It's a it's a, a moderate one. So we've got, we've got one, two, three, four shades there. Not 50 shades, <laughs> so uh, anyway, we'll put another one in this. I think I'd, I'd like to drop a touch of blue into that, though, I'd like, just to sort of give it a in this bottom here, and it comes shaded to it. Because they're not they're not lawns; these they're, they're, they're hillsides. As it comes closer, you're going to see more detail. Right, now we'll do this, this the, the, the largest hill. Silicon got a bit stronger this time, a little bit stronger than what we got last time. This is cabin yellow and the winds of blue red shade. Let's see how rich we get with this one. This might be alright. Yeah, this is quite quite good.
down it sweeps keep off the fields stronger colour in the bottom there get a bit darker to make it darker by the way folks what I've done is added a touch more blue into it still green but it's 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 a, a more lean towards the blue side instead of the, the, instead of the yellow the shed. Yeah. I'll put some sort of a bit, bit, bit more blue in there. I'll sort of give some indications of shape on this thing because it's, as I say, it's not, it's not a straightforward flat area, it's, it's, it's got texture. In fact, while I'm doing that, the, I don't like that, that third one is a bit bland, so I'm going to introduce a touch of Touch of colour into that one. So if I can find a touch, don't want it too strong. I want some detail in this. A bit stronger than that. Shadow in there, the dark. Down there. It's a bit shadowy because the light's coming from the left. Right, and this is nice, but it's, it's not got no no oomph to it. So I better give it a little bit of oomph. Winds of blue red shade. A touch of that burnt umber into it. That might give it a bit of a bit of feature. So in the darks. Let's get some darks into this. Make it more more dramatic if you like. Probably that's it. Right, it's it's coming on right. I might. Uh, before, I, before it dries off that, I might just put a touch of that palette. I want some real real highlights in it. And the, the, the way to get a highlight on something like that is to put some cadmium lemon in. As I say, it's undulating all this lot, so, so I'm going to get a bit of this. I think I'll, I'll put a touch of this into the, uh, into the back, back mix there, see if I can get some in this, this highlights on the top of this hill as well.
down to there. And even that third one, let's get a bit of a glow onto that one as well, shall we? Right, I'll put these sheds in next. Let's just, uh, and that's, it's a, I want to use the, the raw sienna on this to give it a base coat. And then we can fill around with the, it, it, the, the stone built. So there's going to be a, a, the effects of stone on them. So, uh, but let's give it an undercoat first, if you like. Number 10, I think that should do it. What's that? It's the number six. That might be all right. Number six. So, raw sienna. On its own, if you like. And let's just uh, block in these for a start. I said that they what they are they're not uh, I think sometimes they've got holes in the roof and all sorts it's that they're not uh, they're not sort of insulated and all that nothing like that and the roofs uh, are built with uh, slate or slabs of slabs of stone a little lean too just here Because it's a good contrast that colour with the with the greens. But, but that colour what I the, the ultramarine. And put a touch of a little bit of clean paper here. I'm going to put a touch of uh, burnt sienna in, into some ultramarine, just a slight, just a small bit, not, nothing special. And then I'm going to sort of. Just indicate the the tiles on the roof. I see they're, they're quite big slabs. They are. There were some on the top of this as well. down that side It's not a, it's not a national house building's place. It's a it's a right rough 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 affair. I don't want to paint every every brick and that, but uh, it just gives you an indication of what's what. Some of this edge there like that, and on the front edge, just there. These tiles are sort of indicated like this. I'm trying to slightly stagger them. I'm not doing so well, but uh, it, it, it's not. It's not pretty. They're not pretty, these things. One or two bits on the top of there. And it's just, just got to look like it's maybe with not not all the same size stones either. They're, they're, they're sort of put together randomly. As I say, I don't want to paint every one. I'll just paint some down, down this way. To show you some this side.
you've got to look at how it is. I say I'm not painting everyone. I'll be here all day. And the distant ones, you can put one or two in there as well. This bit should be in shade, so I better just uh, put some little dodgy bits on there. That, that'll do. See, people look at that and say, the, 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 leave some some blank areas because the, 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 the viewer's eye will, will fill that in for you, believe it or not. But the, the, the eye will take it in and say, oh yes, that's a, that's a, a stone stone built wall, you know, and just stuff like that. A bit, bit dark on it, make it textured, especially around the back there. Instead of the, the land first, well, I, I decided to do it this way because I found it, to be honest with you. And what I want to do now, to, to do these, there's a, there's a field here and there's another field here, and we have one field back here, a bit of a path here. So uh, we'll, we'll fill these fields in first, and flat them out, and then we'll know where we're going. Right, and I just felt like that that dark green that it it, dis, it disturbs deserves a field of oilseed rape in here. And when you're painting your pictures, I say if you if you if you're going for contrast, make it make it sing out, zing, make it give it some wow factor. Because when you go to an exhibition, you know, and you put your painters in the exhibitions, the, the people that look, look round these exhibitions, they, they don't go for the, the ones that are all miserable and, and flat and boring. They they, they go for the ones that's uh, that disgust and sparkle. In fact, to give you an example, uh, uh, we, had, we had an exhibition at the Norwich Cathedral. This was a bit posh, it was. And uh, we, we had strict instructions to uh, not to have any, anything racy in, 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 the, in our selection of the paintings. It had to be sort of, you know, all right. Nothing, nothing rude. And... Uh, I was painting this church, this church, and in front of it, I go, I stopped, I was on the way with the course, and I stopped, and I saw it, and I thought, wow. And I saw it, and I thought, wow, oh, that's beautiful. And it was a field of rape in front of this, this, this church, and it looked absolutely magnificent. And I, and there was nothing racy in this, so better be careful. But what I called my painting, I called my painting, I called it Rape at Corpusty Church. And that was what went what, what into the catalogue. And there was a few touch and touch and that, I'd say, well, what's all this, you know? This is, this is not, boy, I saw a rape and all this. And of course, when they looked at it, it was oilseed rape. So that, uh, that calmed them down a bit. But it just shows you how, how easily you can get to mislead the person, can't you? I didn't mean to mislead them, you know, it's just it happened that way. There's no, there's no, you know, there's a... That, that's, that's how it, it happens. And, and, and it, was, it was a right punchy picture. People came in and saw it and, and the, the, the brightness of it, it, it took them by surprise. And... And they bought it. Uh, and the couple was from Hamburg in Germany, which is nice. I thought, well, that's, that's lovely. 
Just put a bit of a path in here. So, uh, so it's it, that's that's that nice painting which I enjoyed doing is living somewhere in Germany. I don't know, they probably sold it on now, made thousands with it. I'm pulling your leg. This is Raw Sienna again, our old favourite one we start with. Get this rough path in. Of course, like a bit of burnt umber in there to this, this this end of the path will be nearer to us, won't it? So you see more more action at this end than the far end. So keep off the far end and just concentrate your your detail on this end. I'm dipping some, some of that blue and umber there to just to sort of bring this forward a bit, just here. A bit less on the palette, so I'm just using it. Now, it, it, this is two fields here, and there's some trees about as well. So I want to put these, these little bits in now, and I'll paint them dark for simple reason, to stand them out against these, uh, these fields, what we've got. So let's mix a bit of green. Cadmium yellow on that. And there's one just here. It's just flanking this. Uh, The shed or whatever, I don't know what it is, it's a, it's a, if I'm almost lucky to and I'll find out what, what it is. I'm sure that I can find out on the internet, you can find out everything, can't you? We'll find out. Of course this is just down here, behind the, behind the shed. I call it a shed. That's what I call my studio, it's a shed. The posh people say, oh it's your studio. But uh, I like to call it my shed. It, uh, I feel more more comfortable in the shed than the studio. Well, that's, that's one little bush just behind a small bush behind that. Behind that tree, and it's uh, it's got to be. Get some dark into there, let's oh, that, that's just where the shadows are and things like that. It's so the light from the left, isn't it? So we're gonna get some variation on the right hand side. That'll do. I think there's another one down here. This is a similar tree. So what I like about this, this and it mixed with this cadmium yellow in, and, and uh, it, it will cover what's below it. So it's uh, even that dark blue there. It's, it's taking taking it in. It is. Dark that. 
a shadow area there. So on the drum, it's still wet, so I'll put some blue into that there, and it'll, it'll seep all the way around it, so, so it'll give you the impression of, of it being uh, three-dimensional and, and cylindrical, if you like. So that'll do, and there's, I think there's another big tree I've got down here as well. This is nice for, for putting, there's got some, it's a, it's a hedgerow, you see, like this, see, which is nice. The beauty of this is that it makes this hedge dark and it makes the, the, the oilseed rape zing out, doesn't it? We don't mind me talking when I'm, when I'm painting somewhere, just... A bit of green down there. I've got, this, I've got the studio door, or the shed door open. Day, uh, closed today because it's blooming cold. Yesterday it was 24 degrees and that was the hottest place in the country at Crub. And today it's about 6 degrees so that's why I've got the shed closed or the door closed anyway. Now what this is, it's separating that field from this field, isn't it? That keeps the sheep out and stuff like that. Make it quite dark in the bottom there. This is that Windsor Blue, I'm just adding the touch of Windsor Blue in the bottom. It'll just darken it because it's in shade as well, isn't it? It's just singing out like I want it to. And I've got a tree to put in just here, so we're going to put that in as well. That will make a tree. And I suppose, because the tree is going there and into that dark area, I might make it a light green tree. Just I'm, I'm, get, I'm putting the lightest lights against the darkest dark and getting contrast. That's the idea. Get some contrast, and then it'll show up against this. The, 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 and it, of course, it's light, and yet I can still cover it with this stuff. Look, look at this. This is cadmium yellow, and it's covering that dark blue. So as a colour, don't knock it, it's, it's, it's a, a, a valuable colour to have with you because it's, it, it is uh, opaque and it will cover stuff below it. I also want it dark on the, the shadow side, of course. So we're a bit dark, aren't we? On this side. And it comes down to here. Some in that there. So it's just blending into into each other, which is nice. some of this down here, 
put a bit of a trunk on it. Don't matter if it's the same colour. I think that'll do for that. We better put a gate in. A gate! You can get your farm stuff through. A gate. A good flat brush is good for a gate, I'm sure. We had some lovely comments from people on, on, on the uh, on the YouTube channel. It's, it's, it's lovely, and thank you for, for for making the taking the time to to have a comment. And there's one chap called Peter, and, and they, they him and the family have a painting session one night when when we we put a new painting up. It's lovely, and they, they, they sit together like a family and paint, which is smashing. Right, let's put a, a bit of a gate in here. Three bar gate, I think this one. Because it's got to swing from one side and it's up it on that one there. And that one near the bottom. So that's keeping us out of the, the, the field there. Right, now I, I can leave that for a bit there, but I think I've got to put some greens into this foreground here. Because when you get oilseed rape and you come towards you, you get you don't get the, the, the rape green yellow right up the, the border, you get greens in it. It's not like that. So what we've got. We get the this sort of thing. Because you see the the the, great, uh, the the stems of the oilseed rape. You're going right, right to the, the path edge. I mean, you can even get poppies in it. I mean, if you if you feel the urge to put a poppy in. Under this, and it's smaller, won't it? some uh, rogue grass and that around the bottom of that shed as well just around here because it's that's length of the shed as well Right, let's concentrate on this side a bit now. We've got this, this piece here. 
this is a, this is a, an area of green. I'll put some green in there. Make some colour. See what we're doing. Heater up, is that that blind cold? It's this is some greens I've got on the palette. It's, I haven't mixed any new stuff, it's just and it's not an area of lawn, it's, it's a, a rough ground. I wonder if Fred and Mabel would like a walk on this picture, but they might do. I'll see what it feels like. Get some dark down the bottom here. This is just stuff that's on the palette. This is the Ultramarine Burn Tumber, what's left of it. I'm just squirting it up and darken this, this area, this, this here. And just here we've got to do it. There's a nice tree just here which is which is quite nice, this one here. I love it as, as, as a, a twiggy thing like this. More of a bush as opposed to a, a tree. more darks in this bottom here. I mix too much tree colour so I'm, I'm, I'm in Yorkshire but I'm not wasting it I'm even in this bit here. A little, a little, little tiny brush here which will Give me some uh, separates that one, and then one that comes down here like this. So there's two fields around there. That's this one going around here, and then that one at the back. I should put a fed uh, hedge in here, you know. I think I will. We'll have a hedge in there. I don't usually put a lot of detail in like this, but since it's Good Friday, it's probably better be good. I'm feeling now. Let's get Fred in. Go on, Fred. Use your metal. I'll put Fred in about here. On top of the rape, of course. Here he is, look. He's in here. Stepping out. Don't 
terms of Snake apes, yes. snake apes, that's for it. Handsome lad. Dark haired lad. And her haircut has been in the lockdown. Oops. That's been a bit a lot more than I thought. So, not to worry. He's there. He's there spread. And I think... I think we'll put Mabel in as well. Yeah. Because uh, I know I feel like she got, she got to give Mabel a chance as well. Now, Mabel, I've got to put a different coloured jumper on because I don't want to do it with that green. So I think we'll have uh, a blue one. A uh, cobalt blue jumper could be nice on Mabel this time. I think she got it at Primark this because it's, it's a, in the sale. It was either that or TK Maxx, I can't remember. But she's here, yeah, she's smaller than him, but beautifully proportioned. Here she is, this is Mabel. Holding his hand of course, they were courting at the time. Now that she and when they get married, I'll tell you. I don't want to put a frock on her or her trousers. an arm down there. Big girl she is. Shoulders on her. That's why he always agrees with her, you see. Oh, I put some trousers on. She got this, these trousers in with Fred's in the CNA closing down sale. They've had them a while, I'll tell you. But they love them. They're stepping out there into the into the distance, enjoying their day. She had a red head, so I better put some red head on a red hair on it. Oops, that's a bit strong, that. That'll do for me. Well, right, I think the last thing we've got to do is put some shadows in, haven't we? It's, uh, it's getting to that stage. French ultramarine and burnt umber. But I've got none left, so I've got to mix some more. I don't want a lot of it, just a... Give it a bit of sparkle. That'll do. So what we're doing. Now the shadows, the be shadow on this face of this, this building here. That's going to cast a shadow on the road, isn't it? Uh, there's a shadow on the underside of that overhang there, just like that, and one on that one down there, like that. Probably get a touch under this as well. Uh, 
for en mave og kaste sjældet så. Hvad er det? Uh, might give it a shadow on that tree there. Let's probably drop it down to this on onto this over. The back of there. So there didn't didn't a lot of areas of shadow. It's uh, a little bit on this. This area here. Put a shadow in here. Like a bit of shadow down there, nice that. I'll tell you what I would like, just to, uh, to highlight this sunshine coming over that hill. It'd be nice if we just highlighted the top of those hills up there, that'd be nice that. Just a touch. It might not work, it might work, let's see. Just to catch the light as it comes over the top of here. Top of that one there. It comes over the top. This touch of sunshine just brightens the picture up a bit, it does. Too much, not too much. Don't go mad. I'm looking for things to do. So I'll take the brush off me before I start mucking them out even more. I'm not putting any birds in this because there's not much sky to fly in. There's only a little bit of sky at the top and I'll not enjoy that. So I'll just say folks for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed doing it. It's a, a nice day. It's It's got oilseed rape. It's got uh, the the hillsides of North Yorkshire. It's got some sheds, which I don't know what they're for. I'm afraid of Mabel. So and, until next time, folks, uh, do give us, a, give us a like and a subscribe, and, and I'll, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, folks, it's bye-bye. Bye-bye.